Foundation, Module 1 UHS, Modular Integrated Undergraduate Curriculum Physiology, Guyton and Hall, 14. Edition, Chapter Number 1, Lecture Number 2, Dr. Ashraf Thand, Senior Demonstrator, Sheikh Zayed Medical College, Physiology Department, Founder and CEO of Dr. Sheen Com Medical. Learning Objectives. Explain control system of body by giving examples. 2. Importance of control systems. 3. Baroreceptor system. The human body has thousands of control systems. 1. Genetic control system that operate in all cells to help regulate intracellular and extracellular functions. 2. Nervous system. Acts through electrical signals to control rapid responses of the body, including pumping activity of heart, git movements, secretion of body's glands, also responsible for higher functions, for example, consciousness, memory, and creativity. 3. Endocrine system. Acts by means of hormones. Secreted into the body. Hormones are transported in the extracellular fluid to other parts of the body to help regulate cellular functions. For example, thyroid hormones increase the rates of most chemical reactions in all cells. Insulin controls glucose metabolism. 4. Immune system. Protect against foreign invaders and cancer cells. Destroy the invader by phagocytosis or by producing the antibodies. 5. Muscular and skeletal system. Support and protect body parts and allow body movements. Heat-producing muscle contractions are important in temperature regulation. 6. Respiratory system. When blood passes through the lungs, gets oxygen, and removes carbon dioxide to the external environment. It is also important in maintaining the pH of the internal environment. 7. Digestive system. Obtains nutrients, water, and electrolytes from the external environment and transfers them into plasma. Some undigested material and some waste products of metabolism are removed in the feces. 8. Renal system. It is important in regulating the volume, electrolyte composition, and pH of the internal environment. Remove the wastes and excess water, salt, acid, and other electrolytes from the plasma and excretes them in the urine. 9. Reproductive system. It is not necessary for homeostasis and therefore is not necessary for serve as a survival of individual. It controls reproduction through the release of hormones and development of the reproductive organs. 10. Cardiovascular system, transport nutrients, oxygen, carbon dioxide, wastes, and electrolytes throughout the body. Regulation of blood pressure by baroreceptor system is an excellent example of control mechanism of cardiovascular system. 11. Baroreceptors system. It is the part of cardiovascular system. This feedback system is important for maintaining cardiovascular homeostasis. In the walls of the bifurcation region of the carotid arteries in the neck and also in the arch of the aorta in the thorax, and many nerve receptors called baroreceptors that are stimulated by stretch of the arterial wall. When arterial pressure rises to high, the baroreceptors send nerve impulses to the medulla of the brain. These impulses inhabit the vasomotor center, which in turn decreases the number of impulses transmitted from the vasomotor center through the sympathetic nervous system to the heart and blood vessels. Lack of these impulses causes decreased pumping activity by the heart and dilation of peripheral blood vessels, allowing increased blood flow through the vessels. Both these effects decrease the arterial pressure, moving it back toward normal. Conversely, a decrease in arterial pressure below normal relaxes the stretch receptors, allow the vasomotor center to become more active, thereby causing vasoconstriction and increased heart pumping. 
12. Integumentary System The skin cover, cushion and barrier protect the deeper tissues and organs of the body and provide a boundary between the body's internal environment and the outside world. It is also important for temperature regulation and excretion of wastes. Importance of Control Systems These systems are highly interconnected, ensuring the body's proper functioning. They work together to maintain homeostasis and respond to internal and external changes to keep the body healthy and functioning optimally, and also helping to keep you alive.